therapeutic healing ministry that ministers physical, emotional, and mental sessions for those that are hurting and perhaps no, have no sense of directions for their lives. I have several sessions devised. I am here today at the Terrell Brody Funeral Home here in Nashville, Tennessee with Mr. Terrell Brody. He is my special guest and I am indeed honored to have him with me today on the Prayer of Faith and Healing Ministry. And may we pray. Dear Heavenly Father and our God, Father God, I would like to personally dedicate this show today to those out there that are hurting, that are in grief and grievance and hurting. My heart is indeed empathetic with yours today. And I also came to bring you a pathetic word from on high, that God is the God of all comfort. Amen. We, are, we have a session on grievance today, Hebrews 9.27. And just as it is pointed for men to die once, and after that comes the judgment. But when we are grieving, it is hard for us to believe that anyone could possibly understand how excruciating the pain is. But God can bring someone into our lives that has walked that same path that we are experiencing. Psalms 147 and 3 says, he heals the brokenhearted and binds their wounds. It is interesting that you said that you use Psalms 147 and 3 that says that he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. Oftentimes what God will do to bind up our wounds is it is not instantaneous. It's over a period of time that he binds up our wounds. And sometimes that is um, from the standpoint of the secular world, it is restrictive. It is not necessarily acceptable. And sometimes in, as Christians, as they walk this walk of faith, they think that it should not be acceptable to them as well. But God has a different way. His ways are not our ways and That's his true. thoughts are not our thoughts. That's and true. so what happens is he tries to gravitate us mm -hmm. to his method and his methodology. Mm -hmm. And so I, I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful for that scripture and it really gives me a source of comfort that he heals a broken heart. And how he heals and how he binds is in his way, yes. in his time, in mm -hmm. his order. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes he sins or he allows for uh, trouble and troubled situations to arise so we can maintain and also grow our stamina and uh, strengthen and mature in That's him. True. Mature That's in so him. True. It is interesting, and you talked about, and I'm so glad that uh, you were able to stop by today and to be a blessing to us. Um, you're always doing so much in the community, and I thank God for you and all of what he has purposed in your life and what he's doing in your life and what he has shown you and the visions that he's, he's uh, expressed to you. And how you're even carrying those out, I think that is, to me, it's a magnificent expression of his grace. Yeah. Um, and, and today, it was embedded and it was impressed upon your heart that we would do a study and a subject as it relates to grief and how uh, grief affects us. Yeah. Now, I don't, I don't know if grief, I don't know if anyone could attest that grief does not affect them in some facet, some form or one way or another, because it, it does affect us, yes, even it if, it do, if it doesn't affect us directly or hasn't mm -hmm. affected us directly, it will affect us indirectly. Yes, it especially will. Especially if we have a heart That's true. for people. Uh, even uh, in the scriptural text, it talks about Christ. He has a compassion for, or meaning a heart for. He feels yes. what we feel. And so in the session in which we're dealing with today, Grief is, is something that is, is a reality in life. Yes, it is. It's a reality. Uh, will we face it? Yeah, I think that, again, as I forestated, either directly or indirectly we will face it. Um, and then we, if we are true uh, to the call as it relates to Christianity, we will have to make an impact mm -hmm. on someone's life. That's true. And in order for us to make an impact, that means that we have to do ministry or minister That's true. to people. That's true. In order for us to minister, that means that we have to come to the call of those who are hurting. That's true. 
you know, in whatever the capacity uh, designates. And so that's what we will be dealing with uh, today uh, when it comes, that difficult, pressing moment. That's when true. that moment comes to us, how will we react? How will we respond? We will respond in such a way that will, it will bring a sense of solace, a sense of comfort, or even a confirmation that God is still in his authoritative position. You know, there, there, is a, there is a term used to describe the Lloyd on point. And I know that's a, kind of a, a hip hop, uh, mm -hmm. hippie uh, phraseology, but it is a term used in the scriptural text. If you see it from the New Testament, it is one that uses, uses to describe Christ in his activity. Mm -hmm. It is called exousia, E-X-O-U-S-I-A. Mm -hmm. It is a term used to describe him when he operates, he operates in pure authority. Mm -hmm. Pure authority. Even when, it's, when it refers to us and sometimes when a person comes, you don't know necessarily what to say. That's true. But what he will implant in your heart is he knows what you should necessarily be. That's true. And that is to be a blessing. That's true. To be open and willing to listen to those who are in their hour of penury. Yeah. And that's what he wants to do. He wants to lift up the bowed down heads. Right. So that term exousia is used to describe Christ and his authority. But he says that we will even have the power to do the things that he did mm -hmm. with the influx with the forging of the Holy Spirit implanted in our lives. We'll be able to do these magnificent and marvelous yes. things yes. that we were just, you know, when we read the scripture text, we are just simply in awe about. Yes. We'll be able to do some of those things. And it's exhausting. It is, it is that supremacy, warrant the power, that control of the authority of the kingdom agenda. Mm -hmm. And so we're able, he has given, he has implanted into us to be his agents. Yes. So then how are people, will people be, the question may be, will people be adversely affected with grief? I would say unashamedly, and yes, yes, they are. Grief is something that hurts and it, yes, it, and it damages us. Yes, we can feel it. Even all of our established emotions yes it will all of our senses are affected even uh -huh. with grief but then the question also may arise how we will deal with it will we forge on will we attack it the way he wants us to respond to it and that's the question probably perhaps that we'll be dealing with even today uh -huh. will we look at it as something that would be primarily an interpolate something that should not be uh -huh. No, I think that we should look at it, we should take on it from an eclectic approach and say, yes, we will accept it because it will come to us. That's right. But will we deal with it properly? Yes, we will deal with it according to his way. That's right. When we deal with it according to his way, it is simply not foreign. It is accepted. We deal with it and we deal with it in such a way that he will ultimately gain gratification for it. That's true. Yeah. And one of the things that I would like to uh, reiterate with you, I think we spoke on it earlier, we all need to have compassion for God's people because we know that compassion heals the hurt and hearts of God's people because we never know when we, someone will have to extend their hands out to us. You know, we never know what life holds or what life entails, but we've just got to be there for one another. And no matter what we have to do, we have to be at the mercy of God's people when they are hurting. We need to find ways that we can ease their pain. I mean, there are several things that we could reach out as people that love God and God's people. There are certainly a lot of things that uh, God would even put into our spirit and heart. And a lot of people, uh, they really don't want you to, people are hurting so bad. They, they want help, but they don't want help. 
Did you understand where I'm coming from? Yes, ma'am. And, and you're right about that. What happens is they can feel a sense of urgency within the confines of their intellect and their ability. What, what they say is that I only have the capacity to deal with so much. So you, you can fit and, and, and feel the sense of hurt, uh, the, 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 the degradation, what, what, what really is affecting them. But then on the other standpoint, what the Christian will do, the person who is the believer, who is aggressively or certain of being assertive as it relates to the biblical uh, precepts, what, he, what the person has to do, the, the Christian has to bring the understanding to the person of what God's method or methodology is. And so that's, that's and, and that sometimes is a task. Mm -hmm. Because oftentimes, you know, it's like, my goodness, I don't have the answer. That's true. But I am, I am uh, with, with uh, unashamedly, uh, with, with, with felicity to know today that even though we don't have the answer, we know that he does. Yes, the he thing does. is to dive in there and get whatever is necessary. And so we even have scripture to even support that. That's true. I was looking uh, even at Jeremiah. And those of you who are out there, mm -hmm. you can either turn to Jeremiah chapter 31. Mm -hmm. And you had this down in your scripture text mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to be effective. Now, um, thir verse 31, I mean, chapter 31, verse 25. It says, for I have saturated the weary soul and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. Yeah. He has replenished, which means that he really meets us at our point of need. He does. Not he only does. does he meet us at our point of need, but he's literally there. Yes, he is. Before we even get there. Yes, he is. Even from our intellect to whatever it may be, a realization, he meets us yes, there. Yes, he does. He Isn't does. that marvelous yes, expression of know, his compassion? And I just love him because of his love and his mercy and his compassion on we, his children. And I will paraphrase that verse for you. And it was, says, I will comfort them and turn their sorrow into mm. happiness. 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 That is just marvelous. Having full felicity within ourselves in knowing that when he does a work, he does a marvelous yes, work. Yes, he does. <laughs> he knows how to work and when to work. <laughs> but